Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how
I'm on my own, broken and alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. Just there, cause the flames will burn us. I thought you were the one for me. That's why I gave you everything. Held you close by the stormy seas. Oh, you meant the world to me. Shadows in the atmosphere, charting the stratosphere. Yeah, yeah. I prayed for you and kept you near, and hopes you chase away my fears. I'm on my own, you made it so. Points in blaming you, you did not know.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Collegiate R6 Open Playoffs. So I've got a new face joining me tonight for the broadcast. It's been a little bit, of, took a bit of a break from Collegiate, but now I'm back and I've got JM Beast joining me. Tulsa versus Oklahoma. What are your first thoughts about these two? It's going to be a good matchup. Uh, Tulsa's kind of like a hot and cold team where they've beaten some teams that they really shouldn't have, and then they lost to some teams that they should have beaten. They're a very hit or miss team, I find. You know, a bit of a struggle, know, a struggle at the start, at the start and, and fix it up, fix it up towards, towards the end. We can take a look over towards the map, Vito. I had a bit of a sneak peek ahead of the start of this one. We do have uh, a map that I have not casted. It almost feels like we're sort of going back in time here as we take a look at the map, Vito's. We've got Oregon, and I, I mean, Snoregon. We all know how Oregon plays. Villa, kind of the collegiate sort of headquarters, as I would call it, in the theme, rounding us off. So there's a chance we don't even get the theme, I think, just simply because of the fact that Tulsa, Tulsa, if they, they start, start off strong, strong and if there, there isn't, you know, kind of some wishy-washy wishy play, there is, there is a chance for them to 2-0, or, or we can have the Collegiate Special, as it's called, where the maps, maps kind of trade back and forth, and things, things don't, don't go, go the way that we might expect. expect. Um, as, far as far as the stakes, stakes of this match, match you don't want to lose open league play in the playoffs, so you kind of want to get this one under your belt, and hopefully that lose versus the team you're supposed to beat effect does not come in here. Hopefully. I could be... I just, I just want to say, like, like I, expect I expect Tulsa, Tulsa to, win. to win. That's I all I have to say. say. Meekrit yeah. is just... Meekrit is Meekrit. 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 I haven't seen... He is, he is, he is very, very nasty. nasty. I don't think, I don't think I've really, really seen, seen much of Oklahoma, Oklahoma before. before. The names, I kind I of recognize. recognize. You know, maybe, you know, maybe I've seen them in the Discord or just hanging around. But Tulsa, a little bit more familiar. Jump over to Oregon. It's Oregon. I mean, you can pretty much call this as it is. The operator bands rarely change, though. Though, well, I will, I will say, say, sometimes I have had Blackbeard creep into these collegiate maps. Yeah, um, this is pretty standard map for collegiate. There's not a whole lot of funky things that teams do. It's either you push master or you jump through big window. There's not a whole lot of unique takes or holes, I would say. Standard bands coming from Capitel, Thatcher, not really a whole lot to change here. Yeah, you, yeah, kind, you of kind of get, get sort of the run of the mill. The defense, defense is where things sort of more shake up. I'll probably be removed a little, little bit, bit less in terms of the end. So, going to be a fairly decisive man. Oklahoma don't want to wait around too long. And it's actually a maestro, which leaves Mira up on the board. Maverick and Cade both in play, so there is at least sort of some parity across the hard part game. Yeah, this is going to actually be a pretty interesting ban, the maestro and the Valkyrie. So not a whole lot of cams and intel are going to be available. I'm going to assume that they're going to bring out the Echo quite a bit here. Just for those extra cams, if possible. But Perhaps maybe the 6 pick? I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to <laughs> see, I guess. Yeah. If yeah. Oklahoma <laughs> want, want to make, to make any changes. changes. There's, There's the, the castle, castle, and it's, it's the Malusi who's brought. So... so 
maybe the, the intel, intel could be here for like a bulletproof for a Jaeger, maybe? maybe? I don't know. Uh, it's, it's tough, tough to, call to call for dorms. dorms. I, feel I feel like dorms, you can kind of play the round blindfold. We all know what's going to happen. happen. The attackers move in, master, get the wall open. With the map not, not brought, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm curious, curious why Tulsa, Tulsa would, would, I guess, having, having nomads, nomads to deny maybe, maybe a more aggressive style of Siege from Oklahoma, Oklahoma and, and then Waffle Max bringing in the Iana just to be a little bit more comfortable, have that intel in the moment. Yeah, well, the no uh, the Nomad is a pretty standard operator for this uh, site because there's a whole, a decent amount of flanking potential with the two, the three staircases. Um, but I'm surprised they still brought the Cade and the Mute, especially with Maverick being on board. Like, you can just map open Attic for free. You don't have to waste too much time or utility to clear. So it would be an interesting pick to see if they'll adjust uh, in the next few rounds. But we start off here with Ayana going up to Master to clear. Still looks like a pretty standard take just going through your master and nothing terribly, terribly out, of out of the ordinary, the ordinary. Jack, jack whiskey, whiskey suffering, suffering perhaps, perhaps a slight, slight amount, amount of damage, damage. I, wonder I wonder if that, that was rush a little bit late, late on opening, opening up the shotgun, shotgun holes or maybe, maybe jack, jack whiskey, whiskey kind of teased, teased the, window the window a little bit too eagerly, eagerly and then and got, got tagged up by, by Say there, there was yeah, yeah it looks like spaz is waiting outside there that could have been the opportunity or that could have been what we had seen so, so good. good. Nothing, Nothing going, going down, down or out of control, control for Tulsa. You've got to claim more locking off an aggressive play. play. Perhaps if the wall, wall gets open, but then Tulsa, Tulsa lose the grasp on Master. ADS, ADS coverage, coverage is there at the door for, for Bolo spot, spot, I guess, I guess you could call it. Wu Tang is at the ready. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Already, Electric Claw is gone. I'm surprised that hit. He was way off on that Ash charge or Nade. That was way off. Mark, I'm surprised that Master got open through there but it does look yeah the wall is kind of messed up so he or use another one to get that last little bit this man needs to learn how to use ace a little bit better but first pick does go to the side of Tulsa onto the Jaeger roaming downstairs I'm pretty sure at least not art here 60 seconds and a little bit more on the clock. Got a late rappel trying to cut off Attic. Perhaps Jack Whiskey if he gets a little bit pretty, too preemptive. Pretty drone heavy round. Not a whole lot has gone on with these two teams. They're kind of just waiting, looking for that free pick, like uh, docks onto Turks. But, oh, another damage onto the smoke. Tiny bit, Tiny of, chip bit of chip damage, damage there, there rush, rush taken low. low. Tulsa, Tulsa, I want to say, I kind, say of, kind of bit of a slower pace, pace than you would want, perhaps. Yeah. perhaps just trying, just to, trying pay, to play, play this, a little, this a little bit patient. patient. They know that they've, they've got, got the five on four, but the problem with the slow speed that they're attacking this with is just... Just locking off main breach, locking off trophy. Tulsa have to approach this fairly tentatively. Looks like Jack Whiskey got Nitro launched out Wu-Tang to dodge across. Nobody to defend this from the vertical. No nitro, no nitro remaining, remaining for Jack, Jack Whiskey means this plant is likely, likely to go down, to go down solidly, solidly no. no! Prime, Prime with, the with the TK, Kung Fu, Kung Fu out, of out of action, and, action and well, Prime, Prime can't, can't really do much, much when you've got Doc just filling, just filling the, hallway the hallway full of bullets, full bullets, for, bullets for, Tulsa. for Tulsa. That round was, I mean, kind of the peanut gallery, really. You the TK, the slowdown, Jack Whiskey kind of was a little bit too premature with the nitro. Yeah, um, that was... 20 second meta if I've ever seen it. Um, they literally waited till 20 seconds and then just wait, uh, baited out two smokes and a C4 and just ran in and got that plant for free. It didn't know, didn't look like Oklahoma knew what to do kind of at that point once they wasted their smoke canisters with the angles that Tulsa. Was I want to say get to that C4 spot, but there was also no underneath presence or anything like that from Oklahoma Attack to stop that from going through. But they're going to try it again, so they are very certain that it was only a couple things that they could have went wrong. Seconds to go. 
go. Five seconds left. Attacker's objective is to locate a bomb and defuse it. Could be. I mean, just. Yeah, very much an Oklahoma. by attackers.
know you make me want to talk back Talk back to you Say you say it like that If I hate you then find someone new Baby, but you know I never will No So I choke you down just like a Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Apologies for the brief technical interruption. We're resuming on Oregon, where you can clearly see Tulsa have been racking up the rounds. 4-0 and Oklahoma, I believe, just called a brief timeout to try and get their affairs in order. It's sorely needed to a beautiful start on Oregon. Especially when you're beginning on the defense, man, Dave, damn, that is just, I, I just don't have the same. It's got a really three rounds. So decided right now that I am in the lineup that they lost twice now on the upstairs. They haven't changed a single thing, running the exact same operators like mirrors on the board, echo. Like they gotta change something. Ten seconds left. And think about this: Tulsa aren't even playing Maverick. I mean, Tulsa are like. Tulsa have like given them a handicap. Like they're 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 only using the ace. The hard breaching process is still kind of just like happening every single round. And you know, for the main breach wall, Tulsa are experienced. They should know how to get it open, and they're not going to have any you know hiccups in doing so. But even still, the hard breaching process should be at least slowed somewhat. Turks is going to do his best as he manages to find Doc on the opener, shutting down the Nomad, I believe, before uh, she had any chance to deploy her air jabs. Yeah, that, that was a nice shot. Um, that was a good opening pick. Maybe they do need to start spawn peek and get a more more aggressive onto Tulsa. 
maybe that's the solution but right now it's looking like they're getting desperate and that would be too after losing so many defenses you kind of just gotta throw your setup at the wall and see what sticks oh poor jack whiskey so much damage taken as he tries to just inch his way around does not mince words with that M762. He'll lock it down firm. Control is here. Jack Whiskey ready to play for the breach. He does not have any impact, so denying the wall is going to be conceivably difficult. However, Prime in the meanwhile has secured a second frag. So Oklahoma have got the five on three. However, Tulsa have made progress and look at this. They've managed to get the wall open without the bar in the middle. But why do you need two? Just use one. Like you don't need to make it that big with the ace church but waffle gets a nice frag onto the cade who is just kind of standing in the open out oh no it was swinging the breach but it, it could be anyone's round oklahoma is looking like they have the upper the advantage with their top frag of spaz being down as i see that oh it's a good trade on a meat grid from prime that was a very good trade keep it even with your they have two C4s to stop these diffusers, to stop the plant going down. Oklahoma really cannot afford to lose this round. That would be a very desperate situation. Awful has begun to charge in. Replicator is... It's a good use of their, the Ayana drone. Not gonna lie. He got actually a really good amount of intel on onto the bomb site. He just needs to smoke and play in some random spot right here. Oh. Tough luck there. Once. Oh, what a pre-fire. No. He's just better. Tang, you can't do him like that. You just can't. He just hoses him down. He knows, he, he reads Oklahoma like a book and then just makes the play. Oklahoma, they have not won a single defense on Oregon. I gotta go look at the map, Vito. If this is Oklahoma's pick, I'm gonna. No, leave. I, th I think it's Tulsa's. Oh, this, yeah. this better be Tulsa's. Uh... Yeah, you wouldn't pick. That just would make no sense. Yeah. I mean, not that it really has mattered so far. Tulsa seem to know what's needed for Oregon and uh, have been charging forward. Not an end in sight. We have had a few rounds. Just the one before we came back. I believe it was round number four. It came all the way down to a two-on-one just there. Kind of the opposite one-on-two. But, Attackers I mean, Tulsa to have the playmakers. The they have the skill. They know what's to be expected here. And for such a kind of run-of-the-mill map like Oregon, this is just going to be default stuff playing out. For Oklahoma's sake, I kind of feel bad because... You cannot afford to put up no rounds on defense. If they want any chance to make this longer than a flat-out flawless victory on the second half, they are really going to have to completely take a different look at this. I mean, they had a 3v5 yeah. to Tulsa's disadvantage. They spawn kill. I mean, they were just hosing them all down and stole the round. It goes, that goes the way of Tulsa. I, I, it's just Tulsa. Tulsa and continue to win their gunfights. Like, Oklahoma got the two top picks, I would think, that they could have gotten onto the Nomad for flank watch, and then onto Spaz, who's just been gunning you. And then they just got either aggressive or just lost their gunfights. They just needed to win their ones, I guess. They traded off well, but they just, at the end, he needed to play a little bit more passive, I think, there, instead of lying prone and waited for the plant, because he still had a C4 available. To play off that is what I would assume he should have done. Talk about playing off of the C4. If Turks tosses it right here, there could be an opportunity to get a double kill. Got the replicator backed off. That should let Turks know the Iana was close left of the door. Wide swing just gets absolutely flattened by Meat Grid. Read that one perfectly. And despite having the pre fire advantage of peeking away from the window, Meat Grid threads the needle, shutting down what would should have been. Like, it was like 70-30 to the advantage of Turks, but somehow it still manages to go in a way that disadvantages them. Now Jack Whiskey has been down as he tries to escape the clutch of that uh, explosive Vulcan shield. Waffle Mech just plows right in. 
no end in sight, but does get shut down by Prime, who has had a few clutch moments, but with Spaz shutting down the Goyo inside storage, and Doc finding that last one. That'll be Tulsa to close out the first half, a 6-0 really running up the score in this one. What a collapse. That was a very good round by Tulsa, but I think I really realized why Oklahoma's not running Mirror up top. But that's just my two cents. <laughs> But this, no, that was... gone. <laughs> this is so much faster because I just got done casting a T3 league where we had an infinite overtime game go 10 to 8 on Clubhouse. I mean, this is already almost over. It's also have six defenses in a row to close. The you literally cannot ask for anything better. Yeah, it's like the perfect setup unless you pull, unless you decide to stop playing, I guess. This should be Tulsa's map. Unless they just literally all stop playing in sync. I don't see a way that Oklahoma could come back from this. I mean this would be a this would be an Oklahoma story if they could come yeah. back from this. this you would you be a would story if you were in Oklahoma esports, I mean this one is going in the record book. If they can pull this one all the way back. It's such a it's such a desperate thing to say. I have to hope for Oklahoma that when this is finally over, set and done. They just ignore it. Just say, you know, throw caution to win Oregon. Not our map. Win your selection and then try to battle it through the mental game on the decider. I think they should have played clubhouse. Every team knows clubhouse. But. I mean, but every team should know <laughs> Oregon. It's just Oregon. Like, yeah. Oregon is like probably the, the map that I cast the most. Just because it's so. It's so approachable. It's just Oregon. You know, you set up on the defense. We can walk through the round at the beginning <laughs> with ease because it just goes one way. There is really, I mean, you said it at the start. There is not much, much variation to Oregon. It's pretty much kind of the same story, the same kind of quest every single time. Yeah. I mean, you can get creative and it's kind of fun once one, you get creative, but I don't think... From the looks of it, Oklahoma's put a lot of time into this map to get creative. Like, you can do a full, like, master hold and contest, Reloading. and contest like this Goyo's doing, and stuff like that. But, it just didn't look like they had the knowledge to adapt. Like, they had the one strat and that was it. But I do like Wu-Tang challenging this. I always... Why are you trying to knife me? But, I always do... <laughs> it's It's been patched. It's broken. But I do like, um... Because of how one-sided of a take that is, that you need to put some contention over there. I'm a big fan of the, um, the setup you'll do in Trophy where you place like a Goyo shield yeah. backed off from the master door with ADS. Like, you're not really going to push that. It's going to yeah. be tremendously difficult. Attic wall has been open. So we can chalk that up to the first success in the checklist for Oklahoma. Ooh. Waffle Max waiting in the wings with a Nitro to launch... A deep threat towards the middle of Attic as Rush has got a drone ready in position. You should know what Waffle Mex is up to here. It's a mute. He has not yet used the Nitro. You need to be prepared for that. As I say that, Waffle Mex will back off, fearing the frag grenade ready to come in from Rush. It's off target and off balance as Waffle will tease the corner. The second frag is in, but Waffle has managed to escape unscathed. Press plus one. Oh, press plus one. <laughs> but yeah, it's. They are. And we thought Tulsa was taking a long time to set up. Oklahoma's taking even longer. Utility down. But they still need to get rid of this last shield. Will be the real decider of this of this round. Is if they can get rid of that Goyo shield there. Because not only will... It, what was that, sir? This could be workable. It could be. The drones are there. I mean, you've got smokes for coverage. If you could play this right. Tulsa's got people off site, though. That's the one problem. And they have three nitros. Yeah. As finds Rush. So now you've lost man coverage. You're going to have to play this disadvantage. There really needs to be a frag. And Turks and Kung Fu, just as I say that, they will collect. As Wu Tang and Dot go down, but there's an immediate trade. Meat grid. Suppress 9mm C1. Don't ask me why you would choose to intentionally remove the more damage off that gun, but it doesn't really matter in the end of things. This Tulsa, Oregon is their playground. Flawless victory 7-0. First time I've seen that in a long time.
Yeah, that was a ridiculous attack, attack round. Really strong. The addition of Spaz has really propelled them to a really, really top contending team, I think, in Open. And I wouldn't be surprised if they made Premier for the September semester. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that this looks like Tulsa as a Premier team. There's no question yeah. about that. Oregon was just... I'm gonna I'm gonna hold comments until we see Villa because that's <laughs> Oklahoma. You know, it's their home turf, home advantage, so they have kind of the opportunity here. I would kind of find it hard pressed to not be prepared for an Oregon game. That just seems like logic that doesn't check out. Probably one of the maps that you should always be prepared yeah. to fight against. But for a seven zero Tulsa, I mean Tulsa didn't do everything right. There was a few stakes here or there. You know, there was a situation where they had a two on one clutch, but a kind of a lack of team play there from Oklahoma. We're not always playing together the cross fires were not properly executed and i think that's something that you can't really lack on tulsa you know i don't want to say and we did kind of not get to see four rounds of the game so we don't know what that looked like how close they came but regardless man that's a 7-0 victory for tulsa it's a lot of momentum and they're going to be riding high off the back of this. They're just kind of sitting pretty. You were not even challenged on your own map pick. So now you get to go into deep Oklahoma territory to see what they've got. But before we do head to that next map, we'll be taking a short break as we give Oklahoma time to prepare for their map selection and a bit of a breather to recuperate after that result. Stick with us, a short intermission, and we'll be right back.
I mean, they did have to work by opening up that wall into bar. So maybe they'd counter strike it pretty well, knew that they opened it. We'll go with the big brain plays. Attackers are moving out I think that's a little shocking. That would be big brain. I wouldn't be surprised if Tulsa can't play on the defense here. Spaz has not been shaken by the ash ban. He'll just <laughs> hop out the window and hoist away Rush. Boss up one set of frag grenades. Though, you do have Turks bringing a second pair, so that does uh, at least make up for it. But that, that's not good. Oklahoma did not have a great Oregon, and so to lose out on a spawn peak flying out of the bathroom window, really, uh, uh, that could affect the mental in a negative way. We'll have the rotate. Spaz has begun to fall off. Are there an is there an Oklahoma member playing for the wolf window or the boar window, I suppose, in this Spaz has managed to escape, which is problematic to say the least. Yeah, you gotta kill him first. He he is the frag and content power on Tulsa. Um I think he's hiding in basement right now. He's just kinda chilling. He's laying low until he can get a flank off, but he is probably like the fragment power that Tulsa was missing from the last couple seasons of playing through. And he's just elevated them, like I've said before, to that next level. But it will be interesting to see if he can play a different operator besides Ash once we get to attack. I would be curious to see how Tulsa would stack up against uh, some of the premier competition kind of as a test of their metal uh especially because against the premier team they're not gonna ban ash they're just gonna, gonna just yeah. play and they're gonna play how they want to play and shut down spaz as is vulcan detonated at 90 something for oklahoma it forces the player at long haul to back off and curious thing is they're playing for like an open rotate it at bookshelf but i don't think there's a shield to back up the game store as well so they're really banking on oklahoma not putting tremendously too much pressure from the game side and i i guess what this really is is doc playing for the swing nitro goes up but off mark is does not really do much aside from give jack whiskey a bit of an idea that there are members of tulsa away from the home of the objective prime still manages to hold on despite being at 50 hp he does have that secondary breaching tool in the pocket could be the gateway to pushing in from hunting vault here but i mean the time is getting lower and lower if the zero is not in 10 seconds to move uh, close here that could be could be a problem that kind of hangs on for a little bit longer than what we are at current. Deployable Shield is decent here, playing close at the armory door. Turks has managed to put a little bit of a distraction. Waffle Mex and Spaz have made their great exhibition, a rotate to come down from the red stairway. Two, he's just dispensing with the Oklahoma attack and Spaz to pick away the final one. Tulsa continue their streak of uninterrupted round wins as we are now up to number eight in a row. That, uh, yeah, um, I don't even know what Oklahoma really accomplished on that attack. Like, they kind of looked lost. For it being their map pick, they didn't really have any control of, well, they had kind of control of Master Side, but they didn't do anything with it. They didn't open up 90. They kind of just all decided to flood through a door with a Malusi and didn't bring the utility or save utility enough to destroy the Malusi and the shield. So it kind of just looked like they were their plan was just to rush and win gunfights. But the way the map has been looking, the last map, that they're not winning any of their gunfights as much. But they should try to outstrat them at some point. I'm going to have to disagree with the decision to tag on a Jackal to this lineup. I feel like Oklahoma adding more steps to accomplish and more things to do probably is not the best idea. I kind of need to focus on kind of the small stuff first, achieve the steps in the assault, and then maybe having the Jackal there to compress Tulsa's realm, which did exist in the previous round. They had two players kind of just hanging around there near the piano hallway towards the end of the round. Uh, in that scenario... The one weakness of the realm was that if Oklahoma had overpowered, maybe sent two players in, uh, or actually that would have had to be three because two players did push in the aviator zombie door, but both of them kind of started to walk into the fire and then Wu-Tang flew out with the vector and, well, we all sort of know how that story went. You kind of just 
I don't know. I don't want to suggest that they all just run in one door because that's feed and kills, but you kind of have to put some actual pressure on the objective. Maybe don't bring the jackal and have extra hard reach, but Prime didn't even... I don't know. Maybe, maybe Habana and Ace could come in here. The lion, hit or miss for the lion, you have to say. I wonder, did we have... Did, I feel like, was Nomad banned or am I... Nomad was not banned. Nomad was not banned, so that could. I, I, at this point, I'm putting I'm putting Nomad in in there instead of the zero because Oklahoma cannot afford to take men away from the execute. Yeah, they need all the gun power and wall opening ability that they can get. Like Habana is great for this site. You open those walls, it is it's hard. It is easy. Like I don't know why they're putting down flank cams when there's a nomad available, because that's just taking someone off. Are they predicting someone's gonna die early? Like that's what I find. I feel like with zero is that you don't trust your teammates to stay alive, so you're gonna set up extra cams for them to watch. That's a tough one. And the zero, even for more advanced level teams. There's... You know, you kind of have to play sort of a difficult balancing act. When should you be on the cams and when should you be making a push towards the objective? Seems like Oklahoma have maybe found their entry point. They send a lifeline deep inside the master bedroom. That gives them some idea nobody's actively contesting the concrete door. And now that Prime has felled Spaz, you cut out a large portion of that fragging power. Now Kung Fu will make his mark as he goes in. Shuts down Wu-Tang, but meat grid for the immediate trade with well-timed aggression. Will manage to stall this push out just a little bit longer. One of the members of Oklahoma begins to charge forward as Doc picks off one, and Meat Grid capable to bounce between angle to angle. Oklahoma had such a tremendous advantage, but in one instant, it has all melted back to the column of Tulsa as it's Prime left. The sole member of his team alive in round two to fend off Doc and Meat Grid, who have all proved themselves as hungry competitors here. 30 seconds. For the zero to make his push forward and he's got a lot to worry about the astro shield there's no it move forward we'll see meat grid give away his position and do a bit of chip damage onto prime in the meanwhile inching his way slowly forward meat grid has fairly easy task of confirming that kill which i do believe will mark that as a quad kill from meat grid with the aug what a play by meat grid to single-handedly turn that round back around for his team like he when he retook into um site um it was over like oklahoma needed to swing and clear him like you had people at each door i don't know why they all individually tried to peek and win the gunfights when he was in the open they needed they need to play a lot more trading potential and I feel like that round was good at the start for Oklahoma. Yeah. You know, they, they didn't face any problems taking study control. They kind of moved forward past Aviator, got into landing, and were... They had a good cutoff. The Zero managed to snipe away the, the key fragger, Spaz, which sort of kind of brings me back to what we had on Oregon. There was a round very distinctively where things began. Oklahoma had a five on three, and they shut down Spaz. But they lost to the AUG because they were hesitant to push. I feel like that's kind of what it was. They they had the five on three, and so they're like, okay, guys, play it slow. Play it slow. Let's play it safe. We've got this advantage. We can win this round. We can kind of, you know, finally start to mount a little bit of a comeback. But playing it safe was not the decision to make there in full regard. I feel like you kind of have to take that advantage and capitalize on it before Meat Greg decides that it's time to unload the full barrage into your team. Yeah, even there when they had the two man advantage, they could they all should have just sprinted into sight. It was a five on three. You have the main advantage to win those trades out. They just needed. To, I that's what I would have done. I would have just full sent in and tried to get that plant off. These rounds, they've barely gone into the sight doors. They've just died because they don't have a hard breach to apply any other pressure besides through a doorway. At this point, I almost would suggest that Prime just stop running the hard breaching tool because he's never in a position to use it. Yeah. I have to say, you know, what is it? 
what's the impact of the hard breach tool if it just kind of sits in your pocket the whole round and prime is never it's it's like the oklahoma just don't have somebody saying let's hard breach this wall that decision has not been made the call out is not there and, and if it is i feel like that is kind of on prime for not being flexible enough to get in position to use the utility that needs to be laid out prime should be uh kind of laid up on a a predetermined route to get that hard breach equipment into action it won't really matter because this is i mean we're looking at the dining kitchen defense the main use of hard breach on this site never really going to be the hatch it's kind of a given that that'll just be left open sometimes you'll see hard breach used on the triple compromise the position inside statue and the other use of hard breach that you would see would typically be to open up the laundry wall towards tetris waffle has a great nitro to immediately begin the round and a second one almost steals the life away from prime as a third flies in the nitros keep on coming and they damage oklahoma irreparably now losing their zero who will not get to use that hard breach equipment and you've also removed kung fu lucky the turks has managed to survive as the sole component of the vertical yeah, what a barrage of C4s that they timed to go through there. You can really tell that Tulsa is working together when they play compared to Oklahoma, who aren't really adjusting to things. They're kind of just, this is what we've practiced once, this is what we're going to do. The looks of it. There's the vertical play that I just had mentioned. Yep. Meat grid will put up of a fierce response as he can p disadvantage for oklahoma with 40 seconds they really could use a pick off the back of this vertical play that would make this at least winnable as they force their way on towards the objective turks has not managed to use his frag grenades and rushes stun grenades will now go unused as he has fallen himself dying to spaz on the vertical turks is 24 seconds not a whole lot of time to play for this he'll send a frag in but Look at the HP, it really does nothing to Tulsa, and the Turks finally will open the hatch so late in the round. Barricade stands to block his path, and Barbed Wire yeah, waiting at the door as well. We'll see him launch a frag, and it just doesn't open the door. Really bad luck for Turks there. Spaz just kind of sits in the, in the open space, absorbing bullets, and he'll die as a result. Good attempt by Turks as he poured through the laundry door, but not going to be enough to dominate Tulsa as they secure a flawless site rotation. And that is three flawless site rotations consecutively. Wow. This is... I don't... Oklahoma just doesn't look like they're in... ...positions when they're droning or using their utility. They're kind of just standing still a lot. You know they're going to see for you when... You go to this site like you have to always stay moving on this site they kind of just laid there and waited to get c forward and again they're not really taking any control of things they're kind of just walking around like um the sludge just crouch walking through boar and stuff like that they're just not really pushing a whole lot together as a team for those trades or those pinches Attackers need to locate and defuse bomb but hopefully they can get off a hard breach tool this time and not go over four rounds maybe prime can open up 90 or something like that and that way they have another way than just a doorway to push through i like the idea of lying against the tulsa defense it, it's it's really not contributing any there's an opportunity to use the EE1D, but it just really never came. The impact of the Lion's gadget, really, I think, negligible here. Uh, the replicator, I'm trying to think back, I feel like we had a few times where it came in, helpful at least, um, but never really enough, I think, to justify its complete placement here over you know, more of a traditional operator composition with additional hard breach. It's always lacking. Oklahoma... I almost want to say kind of have to go back to basics. They shouldn't be playing such an advanced level lineup if this isn't really the the, the plan from the get-go. I feel like you kind of have to take somebody on Oklahoma, give them the authority to make the decisions and kind of begin to make the progress there. Have somebody be like really strict authoritarian. This is what the play is going to be. You're going to do X. I'm going to do Y. You know, your other teammate is going to come in here to drone you out and support you, but... That decision-making element is absent for Oklahoma, and so, as such, the team play is just, it, it's not there. It's I want to know if they have an IGL. 
in this, or is it just five friends playing together, trying just to have fun and playing this game as something else to do? Because it seems like they're not really adjusting on the fly and stuff like that. And you can clearly see that they just need to go back to year one and play some year one operators. Bring out a nice thermite or a nice Habana or something like that. I think the Ashman was more detrimental to their lineup than it is going to be to Spaz at this point in time. Kind of all depends on where this round goes. If Tulsa can find four, that would be beneficial. Kung Fu has got a capable opening frag, and the use of the Replicator will be a little bit beneficial. You've spotted out Doc, who is now feeling quite pressured, but great use of the Nitro Cell rounding the corner. You see Doc put out of his misery as 90 control is garnered. Prime. This is his opportunity. Get that. Probably before the shield is detonated and that cover, which was originally for the defender's benefit, could now serve to help the attacker somewhat. That hard breaching tool, but the nitro just so beautifully. It flies right over and takes Rush out. He had begun to uh, accumulate kind of a killing spree on the round, but that's going to stop really quick now oh look look prime is putting the hard breach huge he's he's using the secondary breaching tool on the hunting boat wall finally we'll see some of the breaching equipment put in and that's gonna be oh did it get impact it got impact <laughs> uh, i feel like it actually got mute jam so or did. Uh, oh oh it went off there we go nice oh. now you can't play in hunting vault let's go oklahoma are making some progress here but he dies i mean you, You've, yeah, you lost Prime and Jack Whiskey and a final desperate move is going to use the EE1D but does not check the close corner where I think Spaz had, had lurked. I don't know if he... Yeah, Spaz yeah, is in the he corner. Yeah, he just tucked into the corner. Close the round out. Uh, so Oklahoma have shown a little bit of progress. They actually used Hard Breach this round. Can we get like Mango in the call and just have Mango like... Just retroactively <laughs> ban the Zero and the Kiana and the... Yeah, can we change kinda... bans? Can we change them? Yeah, can... Because this can, is just... Can we rehost and unlock all operators? Right. Oh, we're being told no. So we... they're going to bring Capitao as well. I wonder if Rush will equip the breaching. <laughs> Gotta bring is two. Oklahoma like... Oh, as I say that... Progress? Oh, nomad. Okay, I like this. Rush is going to bring the Nomad. Mango is very upset in the production chat now as he says, in all caps, where is Ace? They don't, they don't have enough credits to unlock him yet. You hate to see it. <laughs> Tango, they need, some, they need some credits to unlock him. Yeah, can we get like, can we get like the, like the sponsor? <laughs> yeah. Because Oklahoma made it into open playoffs, they get, they get like the... You know, at this one, I would be willing to shell, shell out the cash to give Oklahoma the, the full operators. <laughs> Besides the point, Nomad is here. Never fear. Got the air jabs. But, uh, Tulsa have put up an extension now, so there will be no easy entrance to, to the south face of the map. So you can see Rush has got his drone in position. We'll watch the spawns to see if that'll be the plan for Oklahoma. Usually, you can tell if there's men on the south flank, uh, more than two or three. It's going to be an aviator taken. Well, here we are. All four of them, minus Prime, who had spawned over by Fountain, uh, probably to prepare for the cutoff that he did last time we saw Trophy and Statue, which to his benefit, and to Oklahoma's benefit, was very successful. Yeah, that was very successful, but um, I don't know if Nomad really was the issue on the last time they attacked this site. Sure, it helps, but they're also missing like key operators for and we have all said hard breach like you need to get that that triple wall open you need to have some floor holes if you want to put any pressure on the statutory mm -hmm. and, it, and it's not happened with the secondary breach no until i can tell you that it, you're not getting that close really, enough you're not i wanted to see if we don't have the mute this round there is Cade, but that's probably more for the triple wall kung fu Gingerly moves his way forward, but as he stands up, he's overexposed to Spaz, who, in a curious change of events, is actually now on the Cade. He can show that he can play more operators than just Ash, Jaeger, uh, I imagine, Zofia, and Malusi. Oh, missed opportunity there. Spaz will continue. Bullet spray. Pre-fire one by one. 
Oklahoma looking like their progress has been critically stunted. Not able to use any hard breaching equipment, but Turks found meat grid cutting down on the presence there at bookshelf. Spaz is a tremendously low HP, sitting at 25. All things, Doc. Oklahoma have found their way through and have secured key weakness in the extension strategy now capitulating it with 70 seconds to move forward. That was great push and wall bang um, from Turks um, to be able to help clear that roam and to push the other attackers or defenders back, sorry, back into sight. Uh, I will be curious how they decide to deal with these echo drones and the rest of the utility. Um, Sister Sophia is down. They do have two nades left on the board, but there still is a heap load of utility left. And Spaz looks like he's going to prep this for a run out. Will he get it? We will see. Oh, 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 Spaz. Spaz is just put to rest <laughs> by Rush, but <laughs> Waffle secures the trade. The LOL is dropped in chat. Yeah. Gas well, canister well, launched. Wu Tang, he's still up alive. I think the uh, decision here, up on Kai, first denial is there. Jack Whiskey immediately to jump back on as Waffle Mex will make a greatly timed push, but does not manage to get the DBNO. Oh, that is a big problem. Waffle Mex denies the plant, but Prime. He'll find the opening, cuts down Waffle inside split. Oklahoma secure their first round all series. Wow, let's go. That was, that was very... Good attack by Oklahoma. I mean, Spaz kind of, I think, forgot to move his mouse or something. Yeah, he kind of threw some yellow, but for, for the uh, Oklahoma, they they looked actually really competent that round. They they all pushed together. They played, played trades very nicely on the planner and to bait out the utility. It looked really well. If they could play more like these rounds, I think they would be able to string two or three back together. I have to think what that round would have looked like if Wu Tang had uh, been away from sight with his yokai still in action. Because that round came so desperately Defenders close. Protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Manga just posted a, a big copy pasta <laughs> of what the prizes are here. Apparently, the CR CR six Open Playoffs champion will receive seven hundred and fifty dollars. The runner up will get five hundred. Third and fourth place teams will receive $150 on top of 30,000 30, R6 credits. That is a lot of R6 credits. They could buy they could buy Ace now. You could buy all of the operators <laughs> for every player on the roster, probably multi multiple times So, Hey, that's what they need though. I, I don't think they have hard breaker, breachers unlocked on this, on this team. Five seconds left before insertion. The Nomad is still here. Yes. I'm glad they stuck the Nomad. Yeah. Though, I don't think the Nomad was the biggest contributor in that round. It certainly doesn't hurt to have her over the Zero. Iana, but I, or feel, the Iana. I feel like got some good intel off the back of that. Um, though they lost the Aviator round, they were able to take 90 control, which is steps in the right direction. We'll see. <laughs> Excuse me. Progress is Same like bomb site again. Yes. This is... oh, oh, what a nade. Good night, me grid. What a nade. That was... That is... Uh... That was some Kobe right there. R.I.P. That's Oklahoma adapting. Yeah. They they recognize that Tulsa play the same strategy, and so they just say no more meat grid. And no more shield. That was a two for one. Really special deals here at CR6. Opening kill goes the way of Oklahoma. They kind of need Spaz and Doc to step up here, and well, that's exactly what he'll do. His Kung Fu is taking DBNO, and Doc will maybe think about the confirm, but I, I think there's a lack of intel here. Obviously, no points in the competitive uh, competitive playlist, so you wouldn't know that you had actually downed Kung Fu, but that does serve as somewhat of a distraction. Kung Fu maybe taking, there was looking for him at least but he's taking low not exactly where you want your zoe to be prime is have located a bomb <laughs> just kind of sitting in the, on the sitting pretty the sitting pretty waiting on the argus cam you have the echo still in play here i think waffle would be or rather wu-tang would be better served kind of when the round starts to get down maybe 30 seconds if tulsa 
they have at least a like a three to four ratio of men on the site kind of just fall back and try to bait them into playing the objective that way you can you know get this 5-1 to your advantage and then see what the attack will look like you felt lifelines in place rush is actually playing really smart on the cutoff making sure that nobody will be able to pressure from inside master while the execute is in progress and speaking of progress it looks like oklahoma are moments away from beginning that final push through but the uh, yokai drones as well as actually waffle now tossing smoke canisters over towards the sofa door putting a damper on the progress i will say though Jones away so this 30 second meta that's going to be pushed out might be a little bit easier for OU to get going you don't have to worry about killing those they do have a decent spot if they can just run up they might be able to get a plan that's the last bomb this might this looks like was I wrong I was wrong uh, okay I mean hey there we go spaz heats up now you've got another one is the round falls apart from the seams. Okay, Prime, he'll cut down too, but the defense is just playing keep away. Getting prone in the floor a trophy. Tulsa will fix what had been a difficult round previously, and the uh, Yokai drones, which are no longer visible, were invisible to us in the caster booth as one <laughs> had hung around there in the ceiling, uh, eventually shutting down the round, forcing Oklahoma off the plant and ending the half at 5-1. to one. Two rounds away from Tulsa closing this one out. Uh, not only uh, fairly swiftly here as we move now to Aviator Games. Yeah, I would like to see what Oklahoma can pull out on defense. Um, they are bringing the Echo, which but I don't know if it's supposed to be for the smoke. But I do think bringing the Echo Drone will help with clearing well with some utility to realize where they're pushing and get some information early round i hope that he can be able to keep one alive until the end for post plant and we are seeing a rare heart breach though on the side of wu-tang it will be interesting to see how he uses that uh, if he opens up the bar wall from study or if they're going to go through the master side and open up 90. That's the way through. So, here we go. We have... A big new operator to this lineup. Oh, yes. We have the ace. Wu Tang is here. Wu Tang is giving us our needs of what we need to do. Oh. This is an interesting strat. It, yeah. This Oklahoma have something different here. They've yeah, got a, they've got a, a, a main hold. They got a go. Oh. Ooh. Prime, I don't they think you're supposed to. I don't think you're supposed to stand in your flames. Yeah, Prime could have been a little bit... Okay. Let's go rush. I Let's mean... go rush. You see the head rush? Good trade. Good oh. trades. Good trades. So you finally... Oklahoma. Oklahoma showing showing us why they picked this map. A little bit. Oh, I thought he should have hammered him. But they well, do... This could be a big nade. Jack they... Whiskey. Seems what? like he's managed to avoid it. Ooh! Poor Kung Fu. Catching the business end of that LED5 as Waffle holds down Mouse 1. And now Jack Whiskey is the only thing separating Tulsa from match point. The clutch. Nitro's in pocket. Big throw, but it won't be connected as Doc is at the ready for the coverage. Tulsa move up now 6-1. to one. The match point is here. Uh, series point and a little bit earlier than I would have imagined. Yeah, I was not expecting this lopsided of a game. I I was told that it was supposed to be a, a three map production. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we all know Tulsa is capable, but I would have expected a little bit of a fight from Oklahoma to be given. Yeah, that round was had a few cool things. I mean, they traded sure close hit the wall and it kept the 
kept the guy at bar alive for a little while while he was down, but as soon as the confirm came in, I mean, you're not winning a, an aviator round when the attackers have control of, of gaming. That's really, it's not going to happen. So my only question about that hold was their lack of reinforcements on the uh, bar side. Like, they didn't reinforce anything. They reinforced the one side into study, or left the entire back wall into the hallway free for an for an attack with a wall bang you through. I don't know what the call was. Maybe. Yes. I think they had one left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I like the wall being open. So it was in the first one. Right. Stick is muted in VMix. I was. I trolled. You, you are trolling. I'm having a conversation with myself. What I, uh, what I just said, I said if we could get the replay back to see if Oklahoma put all their reinforcements down, that would be, would be very good to do some detective work. Now okay. I just sound like a crazy guy having a conversation with myself. Oh, yes. <laughs> I got some voices in my head going. We've got the uh, quintessential walk-in closet hold. Shotgun for Jack Whiskey. ADS holding back. I wonder if Tulsa are going to do the, the full flashbang surprise in here. Only have one set. You know, maybe you could commit your smoke grenades, but ideally Wu-Tang would like to hold on to those for, you know, for smoke, for the sake of being able to lock off a sight line or two. Maybe send in the lifeline concussions after your flashes. It seems like we've got that play underway. Jack Whiskey is just full white. Oh, but it's captured by the ADS as there is not sufficient use of the utility. They'll be able to clear the walking closet hold, but it comes at the dear price of Waffle Max's life. I mean, that was actually a decent one for one trade. Sludge, there is some nades, some utility, wasted. A minute into the round and only lost one guy and then talk okay. Turks uh, picking off spaz again another big pick that's their echo or your IQ to spot out these echo drones that they've been bringing probably should not have lost that gunfight for spaz yeah that he had a uh, full Intel visual out of ERC 7 active but Turks is simply just better it'll put Oklahoma up and keep themselves uh, out of the danger zone for now. As Tulsa are looking for a rebound. Late reinforcement to go down. That's all of the reinforcements <laughs> deployed. We've got a little bit more cover. It seems this Astro can... ...to rotate as Meek Rid and a little bit of pressure. This is the door. The shotgun. That's a late use of some site reconstruction efforts. Meek Rid is here for the swing. He'll pick off the head of one. Rounding the corner, the pre-fire is there, but a little bit off target as Rush manages to peel away with the life of the Zofia. Aggressive play by Turks is not what you want to do in this situation, given that Doc is at 100 health. He's got a capable weapon and a flashbang still in pocket. Rush, given that he has the UMP and incredibly low health, this is a, a risky decision, and I think if this is a win for Tulsa, we're going to go back and look at the player challenging there in Astro. It's one of the more problematic situations. They're going to play this quite safe. Oklahoma away from the site, more towards the south. Seconds remaining. Doc kind of staring at the wall there. He's going to play for frags. Really one of two decisions to make. Hearing all the angles. Go forth. Yeager is there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Danger zone. Rounding the corner. The like this. Oklahoma, <laughs> no. What? Like... What? They played that beautifully. That was perfect. But why didn't they hold a cross? Why did they not hold anything? Like, you were just sitting in corners. Yeah, he has to plant, but he also can challenge. What What a clutch by Doc. But just hold some angles, guys. Like... Yeah.
no mercy from Tulsa. None whatsoever. Really just uh, kind of driving the nail home in that round. And we had to we had to to stand by and kind of <laughs> watch that one slowly roll down the but Doc stepped up for Tulsa. That being said, that was much faster, much less time than I had intended yeah. uh, for this game to go. And fortunately, Oklahoma, just a few mistakes, a lot to look back on from this VOD and hopefully some good material to improve their stuff before we see them again here on the CR6 channel. That being said, it is a clean sweep for Tulsa. Only one round dropped across 15 played, probably something of a record for Tulsa in one of their faster matches. With that being said, that is all from us here at CR6 tonight. I have been Sticky Love and my wonderful partner, JM Beast. We hope to see you here again. Make sure to follow all of the appropriate CR6 channels, whether it be here on Twitch and follow the Twitter as well so you can make sure that you are always in the know for when CR6 comes online next time from us here at CR6. Thank you for tuning in and farewell. To the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true.